Hi there, this is Tina from TinaHughes.com and if you have your ascendant in Aries, your moon in Taurus and your sun in Cancer, then this is your video. So let us try and understand the ascendant or the rising sign. So the ascendant is a degree of the zodiac rising on the eastern side of the horizon at the moment of your birth. Okay, and the sign on which this falls is your rising sign. Okay, now your rising is Aries. So Aries, when the soul enters Aries after the 30th degree of Pisces, which is a degree of archetypalization, a, a culmination of sorts. Okay, and then uh, appears a mini Big Bang and the soul enters Aries. Okay, this is... Uh, uh, Aries is a fire sign. It's masculine, ruled by Mars in exoteric astrology and ruled by Mercury in esoteric astrology. So it's about the higher plane okay, of, of the mind, Mercury, the higher vibration of Mercury. Now, uh, Stephen Forrest, the eminent astrologer, calls uh, the goal of the process of Aries is enlightened selfishness. So Aries being the infant of the zodiac can be selfish. It's always about me, me, me. Okay, Because here the soul learns to initiate new things, uh, go for new experiences after the mini Big Bang. It's just experienced and it wants to, to just move and go. It's a cardinal sign. It's dry and hard. Okay, being earth, being fire, it's masculine. It is uh, about the impulse to initiate, right? Now, uh, if you're going to have to work with your Aries Ascendant, live in alignment to your inner authenticity. Because the Aries is a very authentic energy. It's, it's you know, you see what you get. It's There's no uh, hidden ulterior motives or dirty politics at play with the Aries energy. Okay, unless, of course, there are other things happening. But uh, to say they are very direct and blunt. And sometimes it can be brutal, right? Violence is something you need to work with. Uh, as the Ascendant is a mask you put on. It's how the world perceives you. When you walk into a room, people notice your ascendant sign. I know the sun sign is the most com uh, common uh, aspect of astrology, but it's actually your ascendant that people perceive when you walk into a room. And that's why astrology doesn't really work for many people because they don't know about the moon sign and the ascendant sign. So when you piece together your whole natal chart, definitely these three, then you get a very rounded idea of the archetypes that are present in your personality. So, uh, skin will be ruddy with Aries. Oh, how you uh, look is dependent on your ascendant also. Okay, so the, the, for, the free to fordom, uh, the Jungian scholar spoke about the mask being the persona, the how the world perceives us. Okay, that is your ascendant. So you're going to have a, rud a ruddy complexion. Uh, you may blush if, if you get, you know... Um, embarrassed or you know if somebody but you're not like you know blushy blushy bright no you're very direct you like the chase you like to be the past don't forget aries is still the past but you can blush and be and have a very ruddy complexion you can you may love highlighting your face okay aries rules the face so your eyes are going to be very penetrating very impulsive adventurous uh, naughty mischievous all of that Aries definitely the infant of the zodiac, right? Now your 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 um, hard aspects to Mars and other issues in the natal chart can see you having eye problems. So be careful of that. Also teeth problems, okay? Also years Aries rules ahead. Taurus too, because you have Taurus moon and Taurus rules the throat. So take care of E and T. Okay. Now uh, you love headgear because everything about your head head you like be careful of your hair because having so much fire uh, can burn out the hair so you can have thinning hair okay so that's something to be careful about now uh, very defined facial features of course okay narrow eyes and um, uh, 
high cheekbones and a thin mouth usually you know that cruel mouth it's quite Mary's signature now you definitely need to need to balance Mars you will overtly uh, be more masculine because you have a very masculine ascendant so your figure may not be conventionally feminine but of course you have a cancer sun and a taurus moon so you it's not probably enough for you but aries ascendant oh, with more uh, male components to their natal chart can have a very masculine body a solid square body but anyway you dress a uh, very uh, you know in a very fiery manner you're not worried also of course your cancer sun is afflicted i'll get to that but other than that you're very much the go-getter okay you don't want to sit back you don't want to wait patience it's something you need to develop right sharp features you can come across as someone who doesn't have a compassion if you're not careful and your cancer son is going to hate that because you know cancer is is about compassion now don't suffer too much from stress and anxiety because Virgo is after all your sixth house and Virgo can brew by Mercury can be uh, you know can be pretty stressful so and can be very judgmental and critical so be careful of that energy now uh, Aries ascendant you definitely know how to make eye contact right you definitely know how to go out there and make eye contact now the moon sign in contrast to the ascendant is a very private part of us it is who we are when the persona falls away or when the mask comes off when the young yin mask comes off and we are uh, who we are at the very core of our being the moon sign is how we emote how we connect how we nurture how we were nurtured our motherhood our childhood our everyday patterns how we will be as mothers so you understand it's a yin component and it's a very very private part of us and um, actually till seven you notice a child's moon sign the most and according to esoteric astrology the moon sign becomes your greatest challenge challenge after the age of 35 because you know it deals with your emotions and everyday uh, habits and this can be detrimental to your soul growth so it's very important to understand your moon sign uh, with the Taurus moon you can get very stuck on uh, eating wrong things and put on a lot of weight you can be really uh, hooked to the idea of financial uh, security and stability to the point that nothing makes you happy. You can get hooked to beautification or a retail therapy if you're depressed. That may be one way you deal with uh, stress. Okay, you're very fixed because Taurus is a night sign. It's also hard because it's earth. Uh, it's a dark womb. Um, time you know but Taurus is actually all about the awakening of the third eye the fixed star Aldebaran in the constellation of Taurus is all about the eye of the bull the eye of of, of awakening and and it connects us to our pineal gland so Taurus if you uh, look at ruled by Venus ruled by Vulcan in esoteric astrology the goldsmith of the gods that hammers souls into enlightened beings creates alchemy so there is definitely in Taurus rules the physical body and the earth and her resources and banking and finance and love and romance so you definitely want a secure and stable relationship and you don't want someone who's lying cheating your Aries ascendant may be more outgoing but your Taurus moon definitely wants uh, to have that gorgeous gourmet food and um, go to the opera and come back home in your luxurious a uh, seven-star hotel and you know in your penthouse and curl up together you're very sensual with the Taurus moon um, and, and you like the touch because you know signs are very much about the touch uh, to the physical body and Taurus more so because it rules the physical body okay now the Sun is how you want the world to perceive you and uh, it's your goals, your ambitions, your father. The moon is also your mother, by the way. So having a Taurus moon, your mom may be very fixed, may be very um, stubborn at times, okay, and definitely very artistic and creative lady. May, may also be a great cook. Sun does not do well in cancer. <clears throat> cancer is the fourth sign of the zodiac where emotions start to make themselves known. After the... the crazy mercurial energy of Gemini communicating it's about 
feeling what you just communicated that's cancer okay cancer is a sign of the mother the womb okay so having a son there of course is not a, a very strong position for the son and uh, cancer is ruled by the moon so it, it's it's very emotional and it's very compassionate and em empathic and very psychic okay very intuitive and uh, definitely with a cancer son your family will be a priority in your life Okay, and if you're not in touch with them, then you may not find yourself fulfilled because you want the world to know you as a family person having a cancer son. Okay, even though you may not connect with them, have uh, having an Aries ascendant, you may have been the, the, the person who, you know, riled everybody up, but you still want to connect with them. And that is the truth. Whenever you have a cancer son, you want uh, to, to connect you want to show emotion so with their reason Taurus that that may may be a problem because I said they're dry and hard um, so that that could be a problem but if you tune in to the cancerian empathy and compassion then things should be fine everything is about a balance so here you've got a fire ascendant and earth um, moon and a water sun so work with them and you can synergistically create uh, alchemy so i hope you like that as much as i like making it for you like comment subscribe share and let me know what you think thank you